you or I. Whole existence of our species built on the lie of the timeless child. I know you can't say a lot about the timeless <laughs> child. Um, but it's a very exciting mystery that's been presented. Yeah. And I'm curious just as, um, you know, you've already finished filming the season. Yeah. Was that a mystery that you knew from the beginning the answer or was that something you were finding out as you went along? Um, I think that I knew, having worked with Chris on Broadchurch and if, so in season one of, Broad, of Broadchurch, without me realising how long the journey that would be, there were things happened in certain episodes of season one that played out throughout and you were like, oh my God, that wasn't an accident. <laughs> or that reference is that, yeah. <laughs> and I can remember someone in a, a press uh, asking us, I think maybe before we'd even start shooting, I can't remember, but something to do with the timeless child, like it had been said and then, and then was that just one of those things that's put in an episode and never said again? <laughs> and I knew that wasn't the case, but obviously for Chris as well, he certainly knew. But it is that thing of, if you know Chris, nothing, Nothing is there to trick you in a way. He doesn't, he's, he's, he's a very satisfying writer, mm -hmm. but he isn't necessarily gonna give you everything all at once and, and have it all written out for you in this amount of episodes, if you see what I mean. Right. But it's, it, it's, uh, it's, I suppose it's revealed that it's been mentioned again at mm -hmm. the end of episode two, it just highlights that, that it's, that it's not a, a happy accident. Yeah. <laughs> that was a non-answer. But it feels good as a viewer to know that when you invest time and interest yeah. in a show that it's going to pay off, that someone yeah. has a plan. But why would I make it easy for you? It wasn't for me.